Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it, but they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, None of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right, till they were swimming in debt, which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh. time. But that sleazy son oh. bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to Shinra yeah. <laughs> for their experiments. Oh. Will and Claire figured it was the only way they'd be able to save their business. So they signed up. <laughs> while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings, that's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work and food to eat. Believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to. But if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Pop Pop too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. You truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad.
I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why'd he make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam, knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world-famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Uh. <laughs> you had me going there. <laughs>